Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to the Doom Reboot. Let's continue. So the music's playing intense here. It's been a few hours. I've slept since the last recording, so... Uh, maybe a little bit of... Like, watch this, I'll just accidentally miss that jump completely. Um, so we've got... This... Portal which looking through the portal I guess we can kind of get a 3D appearance I'm not gonna fall off the edge here am I of what the hell dimension looks like mm. the the thing I would say about hell being a dimension in particular is that it then takes away a lot of the the mysticism and magic of it if, if one if there's an actual science or something to it, something controllable, they could potentially close off hell. Uh, but of course, this is not a game based around theological pursuits. This is a game around shooting a bunch of demons. Uh, and I would say it's kind of ironic that a lot of people did not really get the idea that hey even in doom one you're really shooting and killing the demons so you're fighting them sure it's hyper violent but if that's not like unheard of in older christian religion i'm not gonna get into a lot of religious debate on this game because there's really no point these guys cannot reach me, so I can just pick them up off one by one. This is kind of ridiculous. Uh, what in the world happened there? Well, I guess they they shot me. <laughs> Interesting. I was not paying attention to my health. I also turned off the combat uh, indicator. Alright. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. And that just took one... Uh, one shot. So yeah, it's it's been kind of a while since I've even had to... Since I've been here, this is this area requires blue access, and then getting up higher. There is a collectible though down here. So how can I get to that? Hmm. hmm. It's down here in some kind of pathway and I just remember that it was there all right so you, you jump down here I guess let me collect the secret I may have to just die to get out of here which would get me that achievement. I've actually only gotten two achievements in the entire game so far, and that's a little surprising. Uh, and there's a way up higher, definitely. But I don't think we're to that point. Um, so we have, we got that collectible, but it that didn't seem like they gave us a point per se. Alright. Let's get armor. Now I'm gonna have to replay a decent amount of everything. Let's see. 
here's where we were before. They're taking their sweet time, really. Why is my gun not working? Um, wait a minute. Something's wrong here. Um, like, I can't do anything. Uh, game? Okay, that works. But for some strange reason, like, everything is... Everything wasn't working. And my gun jammed. So if I run over there... And then... Let's see if we can switch to this gun. Oh, I, I do see I am making a pretty large, um, big of a mess. Yeah, I am low health, okay. So you just have to get out of here and... Let's see. Is there anything over here that could help? It'd be nice if I had a health station or something. So the game wants me to wants to give me things. Oh, that guy's got like a laser gun or something. That's new. So yeah, I'm playing on easy still, and easy's not full, fully feeling like easy. Maybe if I had the compass on I would get some better indicator of uh, like come on kill that guy let's see Alright, I can get some more armor by jumping over here. Hmm. Jump over here. There we go. These guys keep bouncing grenades off of them. Wow, so that was Mortal not threat reduced by not a percent. Not a good experience there at all. That was a big fight. And I'm not a hundred percent sure where to go next. I'd like to get away from having to look at the map so much. But I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. I think maybe this door is open now. So yeah, like I said, the, it's, I've slept since then. Just a jump pad. Interesting. Um, which apparently falling to your death is not something that's going to happen. This area is locked down. So we are... We went basically in a circle. Uh, so we're back to, I believe, was kind of the beginning of the level. And there's an upgrade and I think another area over there. 
Yeah, this is blue access only. So where does this want us to go? Because that was the... I guess it is this area this way. Let's see. Up here is a collectible. I do see that. I would like some health upgrades. It's interesting that the demons can uh, can open doors. That's a little strange. Hmm. Like most games, you're afforded the the kindness of that not being a factor. There's a gas leak, good to know. Hmm. And do I wanna click that button right now or do I wanna pick up some more things? I guess I have to click the button. There's a handprint scanner, and then there's a playback scanner. So that's a big guy. Hmm. It seems like he took him that way. Access denied. Okay. So we need the, a hand to get through there. Watch for temperature rising. Hmm. Is this really just a jump? No, we didn't make it. Um, if I jump down that way, this is one of those cases where you really just need to look at the entire map. My suit upgrade. I might have enough upgrades now. Let's see. Do we have enough? No, we need three. And something feels weird here because it feels like I either didn't have any or I'm not picking up things. It could be that the leaving this game paused and just sleeping has reduced its stability. That is pretty common. I would argue for most games, modern or otherwise, they seem to have problems with people that leave their games running, alt tab out of them, things like that. Uh, sometimes you completely lose stability in frame rate if you just alt tab immediately and then alt tab back out. Um, but that's not been the case for this game but so I, I'm a little confused whether there's a loss of stability that we're having or I'm just getting a little false signals and and remembering things differently than how they actually were hmm okay well that doesn't look like a passive Looks like I can make it up to this. That's a lot of jumping we had to do just to get through one room. A lot of verticality. And I'm still not really sure how I could get up higher. Let's see. Is there something up here? Or over here yes we found the secret but it doesn't didn't matter did we have two secrets before or 
because I'm not counting. Um, I also need to curb stomp two people still um, to possess and find two collectibles. Man, it should sure feels like nothing is unlocking. That all the counters are wrong. Maybe that's because I died though. Maybe, maybe that's it. This is the guy, and we're gonna just rip off his hand. That was well, entire arm. But the demon is gone, so. Hmm. No real difficulty on that one. And the more. the bigger demon, I think, is gone. Granted. Yeah, I don't think handprint scanners should work in the future if they're not attached to a human uh, being. Just even even now, handprint scanners probably shouldn't work if they're not doing a deep vein infrared scan. Is what it's uh, one of the technologies. So my goal will be to probably stand over here and see if I can hit anything. Are we good with the shotgun? Are we good with the gun? Yeah, I think we are. So remember we wanted to be able to hit three of these guys. And it seems like there's only one of these guys. They knocked the stupid thing out of the way. They moved the barrel. I guess I didn't move fast enough. That's a problem, I suppose, of being able to... Being able to knock barrels out of the way, which is certainly something you wouldn't have been able to do in Doom 1 or 2. go. Anybody else? That didn't work. Hmm. Odd, the music kind of paused. That's a, a little bit odd that it, it just kind of paused the audio while that was happening. And there's nothing here. And we're at our max armor. And yeah. There's nothing to do here. Why did I need to come in this section? Um. It seems like I only needed to come in this section too fight these enemies and that was that okay and I'll just walk out hmm. I don't want to really fight anything that's gonna give me a big challenge but Still trying to death from above, curb stomp. So I guess we're not going to get the uh, blue access key until later. Probably at the end of the fight. And apparently there's a log lower down in the ground that we failed to pick up. And we went to that suit, but couldn't pick it up, so does that not count? Hmm. There was... 
There's like a stairway inside there that would take us to a higher section. So where are we going? Maybe over here? Hmm. Yeah, I'd kind of forgotten that that there was and that didn't kill Fairy either. That didn't kill Fairy either. Shotgun is traditionally short range. So that was a curb stomp. Hopefully. Oh. Uh, insufficient fuel needed. Uh, Come on, don't kill me. Oh, man. So that guy just jumped out of nowhere. Demonic threat reduced by 50%. We checkpointed when we walked out of this area. So we're I guess in a weird way I need to would need to run all the way back around to see if I get that collectible. But then why would it say secret found if I didn't collect it? Hmm. I need to be better at doing headshots. Doom has never really been a game built around the idea of targeting and aiming, so th this, this is a different experience to take from it, to, to, to actually have to aim instead of just have the, uh, have the weapons in a kind of central section of the horizontal plane. There we go. That will, should have gotten that challenge done. There we go. Let's jump over here. Get some armor. Do that. Here's some argon energy. I'll take that. <laughs> That's odd that that was just sitting there. Hmm. So, increase my armor amount or increase my ammo amount? Because we should probably keep this pretty balanced. I'm gonna go with armor. Uh, Let's see. Where are we, by the way, on the curb stomping thing? Um, and finding collectibles. We're still saving up for five for that. And we own three for this. So getting these upgrades are gonna be less helpful. It's nice though that you get the Archon energy to upgrade your, your Praetor suit in a different way than getting the uh, weapons and uh, and well got weapon upgrades and what, what is it? it? You have points to upgrade your weapons, you have points to upgrade your Praetor abilities 
Uh, but then the Argent cells are their own separate thing. I would guess there should be an argument that points to upgrade your weapons should also be done through some other system or upgrade your system abilities should be done through some other system. Uh, your your Praetor suit abilities would be the one I would go with. Alright. So. And smack it around. And know the... What was... What was that that it just unlocked? Hmm. Curb stomp. Collectibles. Was that an elite guard that I just defeated? No, because those are human. Hmm. So I have no idea why it's saying that I unlocked another thing when I didn't. This game just feels really weird. So if we could get Stay focused. to the end Stay of this committed. level and make sure it saves, then I think I will make an effort to exit out of the game and, uh, and reboot it. Remember, the blind council is always watching. The Blind Council? So we now have this weapon that's a plasma rifle, kind of Stay focused. like. Stay committed. Kind of like Halo. Will this guy spawn again, or do I have to walk out away from it and then walk back towards it? Remember, the Blind Council is always watching. Blind Council is always watching. That's ironic. We have a new uh, UAC codex for Samuel Hayden. Hmm. Seems to be a robot. Samuel is diagnosed at the bottom, it says, with stage 4 inoperable brain cancer. Cancer Samuel was given six months to live. He dedicated his last few months to finding a radical solution to mortality cybernetic transference. Okay. So he put himself in a, a robotic body, which means that he's technically an android. Press. Press it quickly. Why is it telling us wheel switching, weapon Stay switching, like tutorials now when I've been doing that for a while? That's kind of silly. Yeah, some of the tutorials we're getting were kind of dumb. Remember, the Blind Council is always watching. So there's a collectible over here. There's maybe a elite agent over here that's probably a auto map section there so once we get to this fight we'll have the auto map that will then maybe show us the rest of this facility but i think actually it won't matter and i guess maybe i could have gone this direction first and maybe that would have done something different for me um I probably should do some investigation as far as like I can't upgrade anything on this one no, we need two more points um, let's see dexterity this upgrade will affect the speed of certain actions for two points apparently we can now unlock this I guess maybe I did enough uh, gore kills for that to unlock something Switch weapons faster for two. Interesting. Grab ledges faster. Swap weapons mo mods faster. I could see the idea there. Um, upgrading quick charges on the 
grenade would probably be more helpful though. And I don't know if we ever really are going to need uh, environmental resistance. Some of these upgrades are unnecessary on at least easy mode. Um, I am kind of hoping that there is a new game plus because that this is the kind of game that once we've unlocked everything would make some sense to go back and try and play it on Nightmare and, and play every single level with all your abilities at the maximum. Uh, there might even be a small m amount of fun to play it on easy mode a second time because then you would be so overpowered you it could just be a thrill kill fest uh, but yeah I don't know if there is a game new game plus mode so we'll have to see if that unlocks after we play the game it's been 30 minutes and this is as good a point as any to stop unfortunately I can't really exit to the desktop where I am because if I was to do that it would uh, well I guess I'll check because it, it should warn me one way or the other so let's see any unsaved progress would be lost and I have no idea where saving I, I it last saved so that that would be crazy I'm 50-50 here whether the game is accurately tracking some of the actions and collectibles I found or if I'm just misremembering things. And so we'll just have to see in the next recording. That's going to be it for this recording though. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. You know, to take a moment here, while we're looking at this black screen, it did occur to me why not just show the Doom 1 screen, uh, the, the splash screen when you first load Doom 1 or Doom 2, uh, or any kind of fan art or any kind of, well, you could probably wouldn't want to do fan art, but any kind of promotional art that, that did exist. I know I saw they, they made promotional art for this game and showed it off. Why not, at the very least, put that as the background? Like, how did you have a final product that came out in 2016? I'm playing this in 2019, and nobody could think for five seconds to go, why don't we just put an interesting background here instead of a big black screen? Uh, that's, that's really questionable. It, it, it just lacks polish. Anyways, I was wrapping up. Uh, if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a bunch of links down below. If you want to support me even further, there's a link to Patreon. Or you can friend me on Steam and give to me a game off my wish list. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.